Can you click like and subscribe, please? So, we are currently in a little place. I think this is classed as McGull. I'm guessing this is going to be McGull in Liverpool. Now, you can see the manholes leaking, nice and full. Now, we have been out here in the past and uh, we didn't do a camera on the first occasion because what we do is, is we offer a service of where it's an unblock with a camera uh, or it's just an unblock so sometimes the customers don't want the camera as well as uh, the unblock so that's a personal choice uh, personal preference if you don't want the camera to investigate it that's it obviously it costs more because the equipment costs more um so we'll come back on a revisit to a good few months later so there is clearly an issue so we're gonna investigate it and see so i'll try and get a bit of a bit of cctv footage as well on there see if we can uh, get to the, the cause of the problem more than likely it is roots but it's off the customer's boundary so let's see all right so it comes off easy enough There you go, it's nice and full there. Get the worm jetter, send the worm jetter that way. Right, just throw this in. stuck then each time on the outlet um, something getting stuck somewhere sorry love Block the woman off of me tall there with the pram getting through. Right. So I don't even think we can get a camera through that, unfortunately not. But I think this plug here is old and rusted. Well and truly in there. And then that there sits on a swan neck level. So, give it a good clean through anyway. But I think if it blocks again, I'm just gonna get my hand in there actually, once I clean it, and just see if, um, if there's anything, um, I even sat in the bottom, sorry, just on that, just on that outlet, just on the outlet inside. Let me do a few swells first.
check if this outlet has got anything jamming it because if not then the issue is beyond their boundary anyway for the, the water board to investigate Just on the bottom there, there's a, there's a bit of a bit of cement causing it. So let's get this out the way. Oh yeah, so it's all inside is all absolutely full of cement, all loose cement, so it should come up with a little while. Screwdriver, maybe. Let's just see. No. So as you can see there, store pieces like this. That are in there. So now I'm gonna get me crowbar, just give it a little jab. Obviously, don't go too hard. It's, uh, it's only the old clay piping, but should be enough to loosen it up. bits of stones, some old cement. You could have a fell in from the back or behind this, they are being so old. It's actually right the way in. So again, Another piece. More of a jab. Let's see if I can get any. No, so that's all fine on that bit, so it's possibly gonna need to get this bit smashed out here. Because behind it <laughs> seems to be a little bit more. Off 
thing to possibly collapse actually. Now that I'm feeling this. There's another massive piece here. Look at that. There you go. <coughs> well and truly in there. So that's all what this water's been in there. So when we've come and done a quick unblock first and foremost, you've assumed, oh there you go, it's gone, it's flowing fine. Two weeks later, it's happened again. Okay, so we know that's the issue anyway of what's been stopping it all. Now, with that being on this one neck of where it is, the rest is utilities issue, so it's beyond their boundary. Now, we said there's a rod and I further down there which a few weeks ago had burst its banks, so it's either the back log of everything come back up, or there's been some groundwork done with a load of cement has gone through or well by the looks of it if you've had work done here a lot of cement has gone down the drain and caused the blockage so there you go it's pretty much a nice quick unblock and we've got to the cause of the issue so don't forget click like and subscribe thank you very much